We're here at the stage, end of stage two, Mount Meganic stage at uh, Tour de Beauce, talking with Mike Woods from Amori Vita, who has just finished second on certainly one of the most uh, brutal days we've ever seen on Mont Megantic. Um, tell us about uh, tell us about that final climb. Um, it was it was tough. I mean, it was a lot tougher than the last couple of years. Fortunately, I'm in uh, I'm living in uh, I've been living in Luca, Italy, for the last four months, and we've we've been doing a lot of steep climbs. And you know, I targeted this race a long time ago uh, because of it being so hard. So. Uh, it went well. Like uh, we, the, the the group, we came into the the hill with about two minutes and thirty seconds, uh, being two minutes and thirty seconds back from from the uh, breakaway, and uh, at about uh, three and a half k left in the climb, I I, I attacked, uh, looked back, and no one went with me, and I knew like if I just rode a solid tempo, I could hold it off, and, and I did. It was unfortunate I wasn't able to get the 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 the, uh, the top guy from. Um, from uh, Hank Happy, but uh, to me, today it was a big success. It was, it was awesome. Now, how about um, back in the peloton? I mean, that breakaway went away, and obviously we knew a break was going to go, but uh, it looked like you guys were sort of surging. You'd almost catch them, and then you'd back off and almost catch them. Were you getting a little worried that they might get a little bit too much of a gap for you to, to be able to make up most of it? Well, our team was in a pretty tough position just because uh, Luca, who is in the yellow jersey, he, he doesn't have a time trial bike here. So we weren't looking to defend the jersey. So uh, with the breakaway up the road, it was we were kind of in a situation that was a bit helpless. We had a couple guys able to work. I mean, James McCauley and uh, and a couple other teammates were on the front quite a bit, but uh, we weren't able to control that much, which resulted in the kind of sporadic pace of the peloton. But uh, yeah, it was, it was definitely a nervous ride today. I mean, I, I broke my bike with about uh, 30 kilometers into the race and had to ride the rest of the race on a on a neutral bike. So uh, I, I didn't expect to do as well as I did, but uh, I felt really good going into the climb. Now, obviously, th this year, for the first time, they've taken a different final uh, kilometer and a half uh, for the finish. Uh, looks a little tougher. Um, did, you, did you know much about it before you uh, before the, got here? Well, I'd heard, I'd heard it was going to be much more difficult, but uh, I hadn't seen it. Uh, but when I heard that it was going to be that much steeper, I was pretty excited. I mean, I, I do better as the the uh, the uh, as the steepness and the grade of the climb increases uh, just because of my running background and uh, being being a bit lighter than most guys in the peloton so uh, I was excited when I heard it was going to be you know a real stuff a uh, real steep tough uh, final uh, final couple K now I mean a lot of Canadians will know that that you are a strong climber because you beat Ryder Hegedal's time on that big climb in Hawaii so uh, uh, obviously uh, you were feeling pretty confident coming into this yeah, I mean, I, I was coming into today. I've had some great training. I had a really tough. I've had a really tough season this year uh, because of uh, just a, some bad crashes and getting sick in Mexico. Um, but uh, coming in today, I was very confident. My confidence took a bit of a hit when I broke the bike today. But uh, but you know, I, I was able to relax, stay calm, and just know that if I if I was able to get enough of a gap on the on the group early, I'd be able to hold it once we came into the climb. Time trial tomorrow. How is your time trial? I mean, it's a work in progress. Uh, definitely, it's going to be tomorrow's going to be an exercise in just trying to save as much time as I possibly can. Uh, I, I, I know that uh, the, I, I know the time trial is not my strongest uh, str strongest aspect as a rider, but uh, but I think uh, I've been working on it quite a bit. And as long as my bike's working tomorrow, uh, I think I have a good shot at, at holding on to the top five position. Well, again, congrats. Thanks so much.